I'm Joe Melvin. I'm Reader in Fine Art, Archives and Special Collections. My current research focus it has been an ongoing preoccupation for a number of years. I think a kind of key point to pin it to would be the exhibition I curated at Raven Row, which was called Five Issues of Studio International. And that exhibition was a combination between drawing out items from the archive, looking at how the conversations between the artists engendered those archival documents, and also what the artwork was that the artists had been making and talking about that engendered the discussions, archived, and so on. So I made connections between those different issues, the different five issues of the magazine, at the exhibition at Raven Row, which was essentially around sculptural practice. Um, and we also made a publication. I made a publication which was like a special issue of the magazine, um, which included extracts from all those different um, magazines in themselves. So I would say it's a combination between oral history, archival documentation, the materiality of the object, which is vested as much in the artwork and the production of art as it is in the archive itself. This line of research, it's very, um, been very long-seated in my thinking. When I did fine art, um, when I was an undergrad, I used to make a habit of contacting artists whose work I found interesting or engaging. Often they didn't write back, sometimes they did. And when they did, I would talk to them about why they made work. What was it about it that was exciting? and what I found exciting about it. And in some cases, this led to a, a, a close friendship um, working, working together later. And I uh, obviously accumulated material from that process, and that accumulation led to me making investigations in what other people had accumulated. Um, I have always uh, been very concerned to discuss and present the work that I'm interested in and what and to talk about why I'm interested in it because I think that there's so so much of teaching is about an exchange and so much of, of of the production of work is about an exchange and that dialogic um, process begins with teaching and continues with teaching teaching is part of creative practice I'm very excited on the work that I'm doing on a number of different projects which are around uh, investigating the relationship between documentation and performance, the documentation of performance, both in current practice and in, historic, in the historical context, so from the kind of, if you like, emergence of Western performance art, so end of the 60s into the 70s. Uh, grow, growing out of happenings. So the designation of what is, where the performance begins and ends in the actual duration of the event itself, um, how we engage with it later, subsequently, and whether that is a reenactment of that performance, whether it's internalised or whether it's discussed or how it's posited. Um, I'm interested in, in pinning those slightly slippery questions I'm also extremely interested in the responsibilities of curatorial practice in relation to resituating work by artists who are no longer around. Either they've died or they're not present, you know, they're absent in another country. And when there is a clear, well, there's a lack of clear instruction for how these works should be configured. And I think it's an ethical question, which is going to get much more um, necessary to address clearly as conceptual art practices and dematerialized practices are being re remade in exhibitions all over the world.